What's your problem, Cool Bar? You don't like croissants? Stupid name, but they taste good. Today starts the renovation or decoration or redecorating or remaking over or making over of my kitchen. We basically have like four days to do all the things that I want to do. And I'm not going to call this an extreme makeover because one of my pet peeves is when people put extreme makeover in the title and all they do is paint and add plants. I will not call that extreme, my friend. I am going to show you a quick before. I'm leaving it as it is, out as it looks as we live in it, because it is a hot mess. Looking at before shots, the people that remodeled the house went with more of a modern farmhouse look because that's just what's really popular. That is not at all my style though. And they, for whatever reason, put the handles on our cupboards in the middle and they drive me nuts. And I hate the color of the walls. It's so sad and depressing. So I just figured this had to go. Some of my plans are mostly to paint everything. So we started by kind of prepping everything and we decided to paint most of the walls white except for an accent wall, which you will see later. So um, yeah, I'm just prepping everything now. As you will see, we're filling in those holes, sanding those down to prep for paint. Two peas and a paw. Calling it quits on day one. Because the lighting in here is terrible. We did get the white up. I do have to redo the edges but um, the rest of the room is painted white and then this room, this wall will be for tomorrow and then the cabinets, so. Would it really be a home makeover if things didn't go go according to plan? Yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to say. So we measured all the hardware and stuff. Um, so I ordered handles to go on everything. And um, it's okay with like the cabinet doors because we're not putting the handles where they were before. But with like the drawers, obviously, just put them on. They're off by a centimeter. So, I went to put this on. I feel like I am going to scream. So, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to putty in those holes, sand it down, and repaint the cabinet drawers. And I think I'm going to try to put all the hinges on and get those up. Um, yeah. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna be wood filling what I can today and then I'm going to wait to finish touching up. A few cabinet doors that need kind of touched up but I'm gonna wait till they're on the cabinets because we're probably gonna bang them around. Anytime, this shit's just a hot mess here right now so that's what I'm gonna do.
everything um have to go through and do a little touch up paint since we uh it was not a good time i didn't film it because it was not a good time everything was a mess and then we had my parents come over and help us because um nothing nothing was working the way i needed it to so now my plan is i have a lot of mugs and i saw like these cool like where you could hang them up but i didn't want to pipe I don't really care for that look. So I got these wooden dowels and we just cut them. And then we'll put them like together on the wall. We're gonna hang them and then hang mugs off of these. I think these will be sturdy. shelves that are gonna go above the stove but because we walk in through there I don't want it to have a sharp edge because I don't want to hit your head on that so I picked up these pre-made boards from Lowe's um these are pre-made board like shelf boards I basically for handed with a pencil like where I want the curve to be it'll be a little overhang and I think that will be fine so Brian's gonna cut them. We did use the first shelf that we cut in order to do the second one. We kind of just used it as a guide, but we just cut a straight line and then went in with a jigsaw in order to get that rounded out. And then I stained them off camera. I thought I had footage, but apparently I do not. Oh my God. Anyway, we are bidding farewell to tree diddy today as he has grown too large and top heavy.
honestly so incredibly impressed with how this space turned out. Never in my life did I think I would be obsessed with my kitchen because <laughs> I'm not that kind of person, but I am obsessed. I want to spend all my time here. I want to work here. I want to hang out here. I look forward to just like waking up and having a cup of coffee every morning. It just feels so peaceful now and more like me. So I am really happy with how everything turned out. I uh, hope that maybe you were inspired to do something a little different. There are a few other things that we plan on doing. We plan on replacing the countertops and the sink and things like that. But for now, this is as good as it's going to get for this video. And that's for another paycheck. So yes, thank you for coming along on this ride with me. And I hope that you enjoyed this as well.